The Prime Minister made the announcement yesterday following the failure by the eminent persons group appointed to mediate and find a resolution on the differences between the national government and the PNG Sustainable Development Program on the structure and operations of PNG SDP. Sir Rabi Namaliu, Sir Puka Temu and Bart Philemon were members of the group. The Prime Minister reported that the group could not arrive at a resolution despite the time and dedication they gave to the task. The NEC appointed them to negotiate a better deal for all parties. Today, MTV News contacted Sir Puka, who refused to comment on their failed efforts. However, he only said that they will abide by the Prime Minister's call. Sir Mekera Morata, on the other hand, still claims he is the chairman of PNGSDP. He also claims his board of directors and PNGSDP have a valid standing in this fight. Following Mr. O'Neill's announcement yesterday, Sir McCarey and his directors and legal team attended a closed meeting this morning to discuss their next plan of action. No comments have been made as yet. Early this year, the International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes, or ICSID, accepted and registered PNGSDP Limited's request for international arbitration over the expropriation without compensation of the company's 63.4% shareholding in Octedi Mine in the Western Province. The National Executive Council has now authorized the Attorney General to engage a leading Singapore law firm, Wong and Partners. It is understood they will represent the state to fight this case with the PNGSDP instigated in Singapore. Sir Mekar Morata said PNGSDP is simply seeking compensation of the 63.4% of OTML. This compensation also includes the 50 plus employees laid off last year when the state expropriated the shares through the 10th Supplemental Agreement Act at compensation. Benedict Effie, National MTV News.